Hello and welcome. My name is Peter, and on today's episode of Film on Tuesdays, I will be taking a closer look at some Hasselblad, V-System film magazines, and the process of loading them with film. In particular, I will be showing you an A-type, and an older style magazine that some refer to as the C-type. If you watched the first episode of this series, you may remember that the Hasselblad, V-System film magazines are made up of three main parts, those being the dark slide, the shell, and the insert. If you haven't yet seen it, I recommend you go watch that episode before this one, as it covers some important basics, such as the correct orientation for the dark slide. Now that that's out of the way, let's get started with the A-Type magazines. While I am specifically showing you how to load the film on an A12 film magazine, the process is the same for all A-Type magazines. First, open the film magazine by rotating the film holder key, and sliding out the insert. Once the insert is out, an empty film spool must be inserted into the side with the knob. If you have just used up a roll of film, like I have in this example, you can move the leftover empty spool to the correct side by lifting this bar, and moving the spool over. Then, you can secure it in place by returning the bar to its original position. Now, you can load a new roll of film into the magazine. Start by removing the sticker from the film backing paper. Then, put the roll into the vacant side of the magazine insert, and secure it in place with the bar. If you have inserted the roll in the correct orientation, the black side should face outwards when unwound from the spool. Take this chance to confirm that you have inserted the film correctly. Next, you will want to make sure that the film clamp is unlocked. You can determine this by looking at the orientation of the film holder key. Now that the film clamp is unlocked, you can pull the film underneath it, making sure to leave an overhang. Soon, you will be feeding the overhang into the empty spool. Lock it in place using the film clamp, by turning the film holder key to the locked position. After you have clamped the film in place, feed it into the empty spool, and slowly rotate the knob until you feel some tension. At this point, you can turn the film holder key to the unlocked position, releasing the film clamp. Now to line up the film properly, slowly turn the knob until the arrow on the roll of film lines up with the red mark on the insert. Put the insert back into the shell, and lock the film holder key. On the opposite side of the film magazine there is a film winding crank. Turn this until it stops, and you will be at frame 1 of your film. Now you can mount the magazine to the camera body, and you are ready to shoot. Let's move on to the C-Type magazines. This one is a C-16, but these steps will work for C-Type magazines in general. The process is very similar to the A-Type magazines up until the end, so a lot of what you see will be the same. You will first open the film magazine by rotating the film holder key, and sliding out the insert. Then, an empty film spool must be inserted into the side with the knob. 
I have again just used up a roll of film in this example, if you have also done this, move the leftover empty spool to the correct side by lifting this bar and moving it over, otherwise find an empty spool and put it into the side with the knob. Make sure the empty spool is secure by returning the bar to its original position. Prepare a new roll of film by removing the sticker from the film backing paper. Put the roll into the vacant side of the magazine insert and secure it in place with the bar. If you have inserted the roll in the correct orientation, the black side should face outwards when unwound from the spool. Take this chance to confirm that you have inserted the film correctly. Again, you will want to make sure that the film clamp is unlocked. Remember that you can determine this by looking at the orientation of the film holder key. With the film clamp unlocked, pull the film underneath it, making sure to leave an overhang. Lock the film in place using the film clamp and feed it into the empty spool. Slowly rotate the knob until you feel some tension. When you do, you can release the film clamp by unlocking the film holder key. Here is where things start to differ, so make sure you are paying attention. Put the film magazine back together by sliding the insert into the shell and locking the film holder key. Next, open this window. Start turning the film winding crank on the side of the film magazine, but keep your eyes focused on the window. You are looking for the number one to be in the middle of the window. Once you see it, stop turning the film winding crank and close the window. Then turn the film winding crank in the opposite direction. It will catch itself and then snap back, activating the frame counter. You can now mount the magazine to the camera body and you are ready to shoot. In the next episode, I will go into the differences between using 6x6 and 645 format on the V system. If you want to help me out, please consider subscribing, leaving a comment, and pressing the like button if you like the video. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Thanks for watching, I hope you have a great rest of your day, and to see you next time.